sneaky Aldi hiding the Hot Wheels under the tills. First set we have the Mad Manga with the super cool Japanese decals, the Night Rider style light on the front and those huge exhaust pipes, outrageous. Then we have the El Camino, then we have the Series 2 Jeep with the surfboard, the spare tire on top and cool on the front, not much happening on the back. That's actually a copy of the Jeep, would you believe, originally. Then we have the 69 Mustang Boss. Uh, love the old uh, body style of the Mustangs. Fabulous, the best ones. Good chrome detail back and front. Now we've got the Dodge Charger 500. I am a fan of the old American muscle cars. Uh, Lincoln Continental, have one of them. Next we have out the Subaru WRX STI. Lovely little accent stripe down the side. And the pink badge on the front. The Cherry Blossom pink badge on the front. Ah, one of my favorite tuned cars, and actually cars in general. The Porsche 911 Turbo, absolutely super detailing, both back and front, did a terrific job on that car. And the old terrain Jeep Scrambler. Then we have the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, not looking very Firebirdy. And then we have Chevy Nomad, got lots of them, still love that casting. Great windows, great chrome detailing, back and front. Now the 84 Audi Quattro, retro super cool and a wonderful rally car at that. Look at the detailing on that. Super detailing on the front, shame about the back, but hey ho. Next out, the electric version of the Ford F-150. Now the boxy but super cool Volvo 240 drift wagon. That was a super treasure hunt in Q-Case 23. Love the plastic insert headlights on this one and the light detailing on the back, the license plate and the chrome, super casting. Then we got the McLaren Solus GT, an absolute beast. Beast on price, beast on performance, very futuristic. Another 84 Audi Quattro, super. I love the all yellow one that they had out. That was my favorite. All right, here we got the Dodge Charger Drift. Um, one for the kids, I think, with delivery on it. Nothing much happening back or front on that one. Right, what other cool castings are hiding in here? Uh, we got ourselves another Dodge, a Viper this time. We uh, tried to take one of these out on a test drive one time, a real one. That's a long story. Great detailing back and front on this casting. That's Barbie Girls, Barbie Car in baby blue. Corvette. Actually, nice little license plate detail in the front. Nothing on the back. Another Scrambler. We'll leave that for somebody else, of course. Now the Alfa Romeo GT V6. That was only made for the South African market. Good lights and badge detailing on the front. Uh, nothing happening on the back. And the Honda Cub or Honda 50 in that lovely yellow and cream colour, one of my favourites. A recolour for the Koenigsegg Gamera. There's actually a, an error on this casting, can you see it? Can you spot it? Good detailing on the front and good detailing on the back. Difficult to see because of the colour though. We'll leave that one. We definitely won't leave this one, the Audi 90 Quattro. There's actually an error just below the four on that one, but it's on a lot of them. Great detailing on the front, the Audi symbol. Uh, nothing happening on the back. Another tuned Porsche 911 Turbo. Another Charger, we'll leave that for somebody else. And another Audi Quattro. <laughs> and we've got a Subaru. And the custom version of the Cub. Not my favourite colour for that one. Not much happening back or front. Another Firebird, Trans Am. Ah, the Datsun Bluebird Wagon. This was a super treasure hunt in P case. A brighter colour. Not much detailing on the front door back, but absolutely super, super retro cool. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Look forward to chatting to you about all things Hot Wheels. And if you're watching my video, make sure to give it a like. If you enjoy it, of course. What's been your favourite casting of this hunt? I think there's quite a few for me that I'd like today. Dotson being uh, one for sure. We've got another uh, Land Rover Series 2. Leave that for somebody. Next day we've got the loud orange Tesla Roadster. Just the styling on the Tesla is the only thing that I don't like. Great detailing on the casting in general. Incredible performance on that car. Another Viper. We can leave that for uh, another collector to find. Check out my Asda 2024 Hot Wheels hunt on screen for you now. Some great castings found in that one.